Growing up, I was always inspired by astronauts. So I studied computer science, studied aerospace engineering, got a pilot license, and was about to enlist in the US Air Force when I had some friends who were starting up a biodiesel venture in rural Maharashtra. That's when I landed up in rural India for the first time, and I met a very different hero, the Indian smallholder farmer. In India, 60% of the country's 1.2 billion person population depends on agriculture as a major source of its livelihood. And 80% of those are smallholder farmers who have less than two acres worth of land. Most farmers want to move out of agriculture as quickly as possible, while a small minority see it as a source of prosperity. In 2006, Digital Green started off as a research project at Microsoft Research in India. We sought to answer the question of how could we use technology to bridge these worlds together so that farmers see it as a source of prosperity for themselves and for their families. In 2009, after a chance encounter with Bill Gates himself, he learned about our work and was instrumental in helping us connect with the foundation to then be able to take our work to a wider global level. Digital Green currently works across nine countries in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. We've shared over 5,000 videos in 20 different languages to more than 10,000 villages, one and a half million farmers. No matter what skills or experiences that you're able to bring to the table, technology can create an impact in these lives of these individuals. And it's just about spending the time to understand these communities and see what is really going to create an impact in their lives and fulfill their own aspirations. When we started Digital Green as a research project at Microsoft, never did we think that we would spin off and create a social enterprise that would reach this level of global scale that we now are at. In much the same way that I was inspired by old school films of astronauts walking on the moon to study science and engineering, we hope that these tools of technology can create those same sparks of curiosity for these farmers to take their own one small step to improving their lives and those around them.